Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create the quick male female infographic chart and a waffle chart as well as a male female ratio chart. And I will tell you the quick trick to create these chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these three charts. Here we have created this waffle chart, then here we are showing the ratio of the male female and if we will change the value then here you can see the both the charts are getting changed the third chart we are showing the male and female infographics the filled infographics basically and whatever the percentage like 60 percent for the male so 60 percent it is filled and this is 40 percent filled all right so i'll quickly tell you how you can create this using the quick trick in microsoft excel these three charts so let's start without delay first i will tell you how can you create this waffle chart so let me add a new workbook press ctrl n so let's say we are showing the service level value and uh, i'm putting here random value let's say 20 to 80 percent of service level so i'm putting here percentage sign randomly it will give some value you can connect it with your original number but here i'm taking the random number all right now to create the waffle chart what we can do we can use here sequence function so let's use here sequence and number of rows we will take 10 rows number of columns we will take 10 columns and just hit the enter so we can see the number from 1 to 100 here now we want to make it in the descending order we can use the sort function before the sequence function. So let's use the sort function sort. And in the sort, we will provide the array, which can be the output of the sequence function. Then next is the sort index, which is optional. So you can ignore this. Then next is sort order. Let's take it descending and just close the bracket, hit the enter. Now we can see our number in the descending order. 1 is coming here and 100 is coming here. Alright, now we will arrange this in proper way. So let's select all the columns, make the column bit slightly smaller like this. And you can put your service level value somewhere here. Make these three cells merge. Put service level here. And these three cells merge. Go to the view and go to the show grid lines. Let's uncheck this. So grid lines are not visible now. We have this number from 1 to 100. Because we have our service level value in percentage, so we will show this value also in percentage. So let's divide it by 100. Now it is in the percentage or decimal. Now here in place of these numbers we will show some icons like here we have displayed the circle icon. Alright. So what I will do here I will go to the insert and then I will go to the symbol here. And I will select here Bing Dings 2 this one. And here we can choose some icon. You can take these square also or you can take these circles or you can choose some other icons whatever you want to choose but here what I am doing I am taking this circle icon the first one here you can see the character code is 152 and the second one is the 153 if you want to take the square you can take 162 and 163 let's take here 152 and 153 alright so I will put the formula here before the sort let's put if condition if output of this sequence function is less than this value which is this service level value sf4 then we will put here character and we will take here 152 let's close else case we will take character 153 all right now let's hit the enter and now I'll go to the home and I'll change the font here. I'll take the binding 2. So just type here binding 2 and just hit the enter. Now you can make it slightly bigger. 
the font size let's take around 12 if you want to put some color you can change the font color let's say this blue color i have taken this one you can put some thick border also you can take this one or select this press alt o e to go to the format cells and then go to the borders from here you can choose this border or let's take the color also this color then choose this border click on outline okay so this is ready now if i will refresh then you can see it is getting changed similarly you can change the characters by 162 and 163 also like this so it will show the squares in place of circles all right now i'll show you how can you create this male female chart also we are using the same thing here we have put the friend between function so let's copy this and let's paste this here all right and we will make it slightly smaller the size and we can copy the same formula which we have done here let's paste this here we will make the changes in the formula so let's delete the formula from here we'll keep this formula only and let's put here if this value is greater than this value which is male percentage press f4 to freeze this then we will take character 129 else we will take the character 128 and these character 129 and 128 for male and female and just close the bracket and hit the enter you can select this and change the font as lab dings so let's select here lab dings and just hit the enter you can see the male and female icon there we we'll make slightly bigger we can put here conditional formatting because we want to highlight the males and females separately so let's select this range go to the home and conditional formatting let's put a new rule and we will put here a rule go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format and just select this cell we will not take the dollar sign so just press f4 price if this value is equal to character 129 then we will format this let's say in this color so change the font only not the fill color this one okay okay so here you can see the females are highlighted in the different colors and males are in blue color all right friends so that is how you can create this chart now i'll show you quickly how can you create the male and female infographics chart also let's put here male and this can be for female let's put here max value okay now for male we will take this value and for female we can take this value and max value we will put here 1 which is 100% okay or you can put the max value for male and female both in front of this one so let's put here 100% and here also 100% so this is actual value and this is maximum value all right let's select this and go to the home and go to the insert chart and we will take this chart which is cluster column chart now right click on the chart and go to the select data and here just click on switch row column click on ok now our chart will look like this delete the legend as well as the chart title and you can remove the grid line from here all right now i'll go to the insert and i'll go to the icons so let's insert icon and here we will insert the icon for male and female you can search here for the person and we can choose male and female let's take this one for male let's take this one for female so these two icons insert we have both icons here we will fill some different color for female let's fill this color and for male let's fill this color select both the icon make the copy of those and just keep this here now in the second female icon we will fill no fill and the graphic outline we will choose this one and here in the male we will choose no fill and graphics outline we will choose this one all right so basically we have one filled and one not filled icon for male and for female
so let's copy for mail this field icon copy and select this one for mail click again so that only this will be selected not this video will be selected and paste that icon here now right click go to the format data point go to the fill and line fill here go to the picture or texture fill which is already filled and now select here stack and scale width make sure unit slash picture should be one which is already there all right now copy this unfilled icon for mail and paste this here select only this one so to select this you have to first you will click here both the orange selected just click again on this then only this will be selected paste this here go to the fill picture and again stack and scale with all right and similarly we will select for female also Let's copy this come to the female below this one click double click here and paste and go to the picture and line picture and select here stack and scale with now copy this icon and just paste this here go to the fill and line and come to the pictures or texture fill stack and scale with that's it now we can remove these icons, select and press delete. Right click and go to the format data series. Here the gap width let's take as 0 and the series overlap let's take 100%. So here you can see the chart. It is now filled chart for male and female. You can select this vertical axis and delete. Alright, if you want to show the data label, you can just select right click and add data label. Here you can see the data label for max. So right click on the data label, go to the form data labels and go to the value from cells and then in this selection just select this range. Click on OK. Uncheck the value and show ladder lines. Just close this. Just select the data label only for male. Change the font color as blue, make this bold slightly bigger. Similarly for female, select this color, make this bold slightly bigger. Alright, so this male and female infographics chart is ready. Now you can select this range and you can fill the color font color as white. So it will not be visible. So friends, that is how you can create these three charts quickly. I hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.